Hello everyone, I'm Jill and this is Chisel with Crunch Live. Chisel is a strength based class. We're going to be using body weight exercises along with weights to sculpt and shape our muscles. <laughs> For this class, you're going to want to make sure you have some space to move. I like to do one of these arm circles, make sure I'm not going to bump into anything, make sure I'm not going to hurt myself. You're also going to need a mat or something soft to put on the ground, because we will be doing some exercises on the floor, as well as weights. You can use dumbbells, you can grab two cans. In my case, I have two water bottles. Whatever weights you use, just make sure that they are both equal in weight. The exercises can also be done without weights as well. We will be starting off with a two minute warm up, then we will have four exercises. We will do standing up. Each exercise will be 45 seconds long, followed by a 15 second rest. We'll repeat those again, then we'll be moving onto the mat for four more floor exercises. We finish with a cool down stretch. You'll be in and out here in 20 minutes. Let's get started. Let's warm it up, starting with some shoulder rolls. Bring it back and down. Four, three, two, bring them forward and forward. Warming up through the neck, through the shoulders, through the traps. We have three, two, and one step, touch, step it out, pump the arms. Four, four, three, two, one, arms come up, reach them up and pull it back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together in the back. Two and one, hold it here, reach up and over, extend. Four, three, two, both arms, reach them up. Last four, three, two, and one, take it to a squat, squeeze up. The weight is in the heels, hips are going back. Excellent, last four right here and down. Last two. On this last one, keep it down. We have a pulse. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep it here. Right leg goes out. 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 Four, four, three, two. Switching sides. Take it up. Four, four, three. Two, and one, we're gonna step that right leg back. Four, four, three, two, switch, step it back. Four, four, three, two, and one, and step it up. Deep breath, inhale, exhale, one more. Exhale, gonna grab those weights. We're starting with a reverse lunge. Weights are coming to the shoulders. Gonna take a big step back with that right leg in three, two. <laughs> Let's go. Step it back. Bring it in. Step it back. Bring it in. Option here to add a knee raise and to add a shoulder press, bringing those weights above our head. When we lift that knee, now we're getting into some stability control, some balance work, making sure that back knee is dropping low, really making that front leg work hard, working those quads, hamstrings, and the glutes. Want to create a nice 90 degree angle, that front knee. Excellent, shake it out. Coming to our left leg this time. It's gonna be stepping back. Ooh, five seconds. Here we go. Step it back, press it up. Big step to the back. Add that knee raise, add that shoulder press if that is right for you. Press it and lift. Nice control movement. Go at your 
own pace that feels right for you. Last 10 seconds. Excellent. Up next, we have a bent over row. So we're going to be hinging at the hips. Belly button is pulled to the spine. Shoulders are back and down. Slight bend in the knees. Weight is in front. We're going to pull up those elbows, squeezing the shoulder blades together in the back. Feet are hip distance apart. I want you to pretend like you have a pencil in between those shoulder blades and you're squeezing it between them so that it doesn't fall out. <laughs> That's how much you want to be squeezing that middle and upper back. Excellent. 15 seconds here. Make sure that core is nice and tight, supporting that lower back. Excellent. Coming into a sumo squat, nice large stance. The knees are going to go out the same direction as the toes. You want to create a nice 90 degree angle, so that's going to depend how wide you go out. Here we go. Step it down, squeeze the glutes. Down, squeeze it up. Pelvis is neutral, not tilting forward or back. We can add a full lateral raise right here. Squeeze it up. Excellent. Really open up the knees to the sides, opening up through the hips, while engaging that inner thigh as well. You're doing great. Almost there. And we're going to be repeating this four exercises again. Excellent. All right. Coming back to that back lunge. Wings are on the shoulders. We're going to be stepping it back with that right leg. Here we go. Step it back. Squeeze up. And add that shoulder press. Excellent. Try to have that back knee drop down nice and low. Not touching the floor, but almost. The further we bend that knee, the more that other leg is working to get us back up. <laughs> Excellent. Shake it out. We're going to be doing the other side. Enjoy your rest. <laughs> that heart rate come down a little. Here we go. So I'm exhaling as I come up on the exertion. Inhaling as I lower back down. You're doing great. <laughs> Focus on keeping that stability in the movement. Go at a pace that is challenging for you. All right, coming back over to our bent over a row. Get our hip distance apart. Hanging at the hips, slight bend in the knees. Back is flat, shoulders are back and down. And pull them in. Keep those elbows close to the body. Keep your gaze to the ground. And you wanna be hinged here. So you want your chest facing the ground. Excellent. 
Don't forget to really squeeze that back together. If you have your pencil there, you don't want it to fall out. <laughs> and squeeze. Engaging that back as you lift and as you lower. Excellent, come into our last set of that sumo squat. Opening up nice and wide. Knees are out to the side. Creating that nice 90 degree angle there. Pub is this neutral. And here we go, take it down. Add that full lateral raise, if that's right for you. Squeeze, squeeze those glutes. Up. As we're going through this, your pelvis might wanna tilt back. Just wanna, gotta keep it neutral. <laughs> keep it directly underneath you. You're doing great. <laughs> After this, we'll be putting our waist down and we'll be moving on to our mat. So quickly unroll it as we prepare for our next exercise which is push-ups. <laughs> Yay! So you can do them on your toes or on your knees. I'm gonna be doing my on my knees, hands are under my chest. I'm coming down, bringing that chest as low as I can to the mat. My core is engaged. My glutes are tight. I'm supporting my lower back because I'm pulling in my belly button in towards my spine. Working our chest, our front shoulders, and our triceps here. Also working that core, because as we just said, <laughs> we have to keep it tight throughout the whole exercise. All right, flip onto our backs, onto a supine position. We have heel tap next, focusing on the obliques. Pressing my lower back into the mat, lifting up our head, hands are out, we tap our heels. If you feel any strain in your neck, you can bring one hand behind you to help support it. Just make sure you're still moving equally side to side, if you're doing that. Maybe switch hands in between. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm feeling it. <laughs> and tap, tap. Even if you can't quite reach your heels, just reach as far as you can towards them. All right, we are coming into a side plank now. So on our forearms, we're gonna bend that bottom knee. We're gonna bring that elbow under our shoulder. Top leg is extended. Here we go. So option to lift that leg. Option also to bring it in, touching the elbow and knee. Find the level that is right for you and make sure we are holding up that bottom hip nice and tight, working those obliques to lift. Excellent. <laughs> Almost there. Ooh, keep holding 10 seconds, you got this. We're in it together. <laughs> All right, flip it over to the other side. On our forearm. Make sure that elbow is under the shoulder. Bottom knee is bent. Top leg is straight. Lift the arm. Lift the leg, if that's right. And add the bend. And after this, we just have one more set of our floor exercises.
we're doing great. We're already almost three fourths through the class. <laughs> it's flying by. Ten seconds. And back to our push ups. Hands are under the chest. Belly button is pulled in towards the back, supporting that lower back. Glutes are nice and tight. Squeezing and go. You want to try to lower as far as you can to the mat, to the ground. We're almost there. <laughs> if these are hard for you, just know they're hard for me too. <laughs> but that is the point that we are here to get stronger and get better together. <laughs> All right, turn it on over back to our heel cups. that lower back into the mat, lift up the head and tap those heels. And tap, tap, reach, reach as far as you can. Increasing that range of motion side to side. All we have left after this is our side planks, then we're cooling it down. All right, come on up onto your side. Elbow coming down under the shoulder. Bottom leg is bent, top leg is lifted. Add that lift or add that crunch right here. Beautiful, really extend it out in between. Almost there, 15 seconds. All right. And switch around. Our last set right here. <laughs> We're so close. Elbows under the shoulder, lift that hip. And lift the arm and leg up. You want to do whatever variation that is challenging for you. You know your body best. <laughs> Honor your body with what is right for you. Excellent. Last 20 seconds. Yes. <laughs> Come up to your back, pull in those knees to your chest, give them a nice big hug, sway them side to side, and let them drop over to one side. Bring your opposite arm over to the other side and look over in that direction for a nice spinal twist right here. And switch those knees, come in, other side. Other arm comes out and rotate. Bring 
bring those knees back up to center, cross one leg over the other and reach back to grab that thigh, pull it into your chest. If you want a deeper stretch, you can grab towards the shin and pull it in. Feel that nice stretch through the glute. And switch. Same thing, either grab right here on the hamstring or grab for that shin for a deeper stretch. Excellent. And now two, we're gonna roll on up to standing. We're gonna stretch out that quad. Grab the top of your foot. You need to grab onto something that is totally fine. You did so well today. I'm so happy you came out for this class. Took this time for yourself and switch. It's so important that we take care of ourselves physically, emotionally, mentally. You should be really proud of yourself. And open up, forward fold here for our last stretch. And slowly roll it up. Thank you so much for coming. Until next time, I'll see you there. Check out the other classes on Crunchline. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.